Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, hope that you're all doing well and having a great day. To start things off, the market is actually doing pretty okay. Uh, there was a drop earlier, like literally about 10 minutes before I made this video, the price of Bitcoin was around $6,980. I started recording and then the price dropped a bit. You can see this little dip right here. I don't know what the reason is, but these people will not let Bitcoin pass by $7,000 a coin. We heard two days ago that it needs to pass by $7,000 or $7,500 in order for some type of rally to take place or some type of new momentum or swing or whatever the case might be. They will not let it pass this amount and I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe they're just trying to collect the last of their chips before they let it go who knows what the case might be the winner of today and yesterday is still eos and it seems to be because of an airdrop the present eos rally appears to be primarily connected to the eos dac airdrop whose blockchain snapshot is scheduled for april 15th i believe that is two three days from now on that date which marks the 300th day of the eos ico all Ethereum wallets holding at least 100 EOS tokens will receive an equivalent number of EOS DAC tokens, which will ultimately be transferred to the EOS mainnet once it launches later this year. Users holding fewer than 100 EOS tokens will eventually be able to claim their airdropped EOS DAC tokens as well, though they will have to do so manually. So realistically, uh, in two or three days, whenever this snapshot is taken for the airdrop the price of eos will probably drop because it seems to be this huge rocket right here that we've seen the last couple of hours uh so realistically what's going to happen is once the snapshot is taken a lot of people are going to start selling off their eos tokens and this is usually a good opportunity to sell when everyone else is selling because the price will price is up the price will go back down sell when it's high obviously and then buy back in once the hype from the airdrop is done because this project is still launching within seven weeks so this is a good opportunity for you to get more eos tokens when the price is lower next up we have another news about another ico so the uh how do I even start this? While half of the ambitious $1.2 billion the messaging giant hoped to raise were supposed to come from a public ICO, recent SEC filings confirm Telegram has already raised $1.7 billion from two private sales. Now, sources with knowledge of the deal believe the cryptocurrency, the company, is likely to scrap its public sale altogether. So they've pretty much said that, uh, not that they don't need more money, but them selling to individual investors will come as a huge problem because of all the regulation and all the filings and all this other stuff. So they're pretty much going to scrap this. It seems they're going to completely scrap this uh, ICO for any of the uh, normal people out there because it really makes you... How do I... Who who are these two people that gave them $1.7 billion for an ICO for a coin that hasn't been released yet? That is... Not fishy, but it's like it's projects like these that you you kind of wonder how successful they will be or if they are being backed by people who are going to make them successful. Like that's a that's a lot of money for two private sales to kind of dump onto a um an ICO for an idea about a messaging app. It's all kind of ridiculous for me. There's a lot of money flowing into cryptocurrency, especially when you see stuff like this. We had news last year about ICOs getting started and a lot of them were making maybe 50 million dollars and now we're constantly in the billions of dollars that's being raised for these networks that haven't even been created yet it's all kind of insane last up to no one's surprise JP Morgan Chase and Co a leading global financial survivor services provider and one of the largest banking institutions in the US was sued for charging undeclared fees to customers who use their credit cards to purchase cryptocurrency, treating the purchases as cash advances, Reuters reported on April 11th. The lawsuit was filed on Tuesday in the federal court in Manhattan on behalf of a proposed nationwide class accusing the bank for charging additional fees, sky-high interest rates on the cash advances, and refusing to refund the charges to customers who complained. Bradley Tucker, the plaintiff, claimed the bank charged him $143 in fees and $20.61 in interest charges for cryptocurrency transactions he made in January and February. Tucker made an attempt to dispute the charges through customer service, but the bank 
refused. This is uh, no surprise to anyone, especially if you have ever used Chase Bank, especially if you are in the States. I don't think there's Chase Bank uh, in many other countries. They are notorious for doing this. This is something that they do all the time. And we talked about how they pretty much don't like cryptocurrencies. They had, they came for constantly talking about how they didn't like it. And even when they banned people from um, buying it with credit, there were a lot of um, issues, especially with Coinbase. They were saying Coinbase, people who were buying on Coinbase, they said that they were being charged extra fees. They blamed Coinbase. Coinbase said, no, it actually wasn't us. They said it was uh, the, actually the bank that you were using. And it was also Visa and MasterCard who were charging people extra fees to try and discourage them from actually using cryptocurrencies and or buying cryptocurrencies. So this all, this all kind of ties together, if you will. It's all really, it's really stupid. I mean, I mean, I, I, I guess they're afraid. They've been in power for so long. You kind of want to do anything that you can to hold on to your power while you still can, I guess. Uh, relatively light news day. Not too many crazy things happening. Like I said, there's been no negative news, which is always a good thing. And I doubt that we're probably going to receive any anytime soon. Hope you guys will have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you may be listening to this video. Thank you once again for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. See you.